Okay, guys. Other thing that is common is uh, you are working in a marina, and uh, suddenly in the marina say, okay, uh, tomorrow we are going to receive a, a boat, a Viking, and uh, in that boat uh, we need connect in the saloon uh, the air condition unit and in the master room uh, uh, other air condition unit. Those those areas have a separate unit. They have a, a split system like this, and uh, the compressors are on the engine room and the evaporator in each area. That's okay. All right, and you need connect uh, a couple of cooling towers because the boat will be out of the water for three weeks, but uh, the crew will be on the boat. They need air condition in the saloon and their air condition in the master room. Okay. All right, you need to connect the cooling tower. What is the process to connect the cooling tower? What is the function of the cooling tower? It's replace the raw water, no? It's replace the sea. Okay, I'm going to replace the raw water. Uh, how, is the connect, how is the flow of raw water in this unit? The raw water enter here, pass over there, circulate through the coil, and goes out. No? Okay, I have a cooling tower and uh, the cooling tower have uh, one input and one output. The output of the cooling tower, the output of the cooling tower is water, fresh water that I have over there at high pressure. And I, I am going to return the water here on top to fill that container in the bottom. Okay, what is the idea? The output, the output of the pump of the cooling tower will be out, will be coming out with high pressure. Where should be connected this output? This is the output of the cooling tower. And this is the return. This is the input. That's the return. And this is the discharge. High pressure. That's okay? Where I connect the discharge, the high pressure, here in this system. I am going to disconnect the hose here, and I am going to bring my new hose here, yes or not? Yes. Yes. And at this return, I am going to close this valve and I am going to connect here and here. And I am going to start the cooling tower and the cooling and start the air condition because right now I have circulation of water. That water return here, goes up, and for gravity goes down, and the fan reduce the temperature and bye-bye. This is the cooling tower. Difficult? Okay, look at, show to me in this unit where should be the input of raw water and the output of raw water. Show to me. In that unit. Where is the input? And this is the output. Okay. Where is the output of raw water in this tower? Okay, bring the output. That output should enter where? And at the input. Look at the input. Where should be connected the input here? Where is the flow switch? Exactly. Over there is the input. That's the input. And that input will be connected here. And where I connect the municipal water, here. Check the valves. Where should be a good idea for the municipal water to keep that container full of water? This one. That one, correct. Here I connect the municipal water. That's correct. And now I am ready, I am ready to run the unit, but it is leaking water, but this is. Ooh. But this is the idea. The fan is working and cool the water. And the water is circulating in the system. It's, not, it's too simple, no? The most important is enter in the boat and verify the feedings. And prepare the feedings. Okay, how can I go over there? I need a special feeding to pass from three quarter to half. You need to prepare the feedings, buy the feedings before you disconnect in the boat. Other important thing, my friends, ask to the captain. 
ask to the manager of the boat, hey, my friend, I am going to collect the cooling tower here and here. Probably he said, no, 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 no. On that point, no. I prefer after that, uh, here, uh, okay. Ask with the manager, because they, they, they use those fittings for other purposes, okay? Ask to them. Be 100% sure that at those points, you know what is the input and what is the output, but in each boat they have more connections. No, you need ask to them, hey, my friend, can I? No, because I use that one for the generator, so. Ah, okay. Can I install here other fitting? Yes, you can, but you need cut it and install other fitting. It's not simple, it's especially the preparation of the fittings. You lose too simple here because, uh, because I don't need a special connectors. But in general, in the boat, you need a special fittings, a special connector. No, Masa? No, Dalton, you, you have experience with that. Okay, it's, it's very, very common. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the, depending on the boat, in some cases, you solve it with only one cooling tower. I have a question, pay attention. I have a boat with uh, three compressors, three compressors in the engine room. And of course, three evaporators. One in the master room, other in the saloon, and other in the guest room. And uh, in the marina say, the owner want all the air condition units working in that boat. How many cooling towers I need? One. Pay attention. I have three compressors and three evaporators individual. How many air condition units I need? Uh, how many cooling towers I need? to put all the all the units to work at the same time. Calculation one, right? Only one? It's and how you connect that one? You're like a supply manifold? Yeah, you can create a supply manifold and return manifold. Yeah. Or you can connect three cooling towers, but three cooling towers. <laughs> no? Right? You pay rent for each one? Excuse me? Do you rent the cooling towers? Oh yeah, if you rent, it's expensive. Normally in the marina, they have cooling towers and they rent to you, but the, it's, it's per day, no? It's like a 90, $120 per day, uh, the rent of this is cooling tower. It's, it's money, no? Per day. Okay, uh, I have the boat out of the water one month. It's a lot of money, no? Only renting the cooling tower. For them or for you? Excuse me? For the customer or yeah. for you? It's for the customer. Well, you, you, they charge you, they charge the customer. You charge to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I don't pay for him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, look at this. Suppose that I have in my boat, I have in my boat one chiller unit, central chiller unit with six air handles. You remember the chiller units, no? Yeah. Uh, can I install a cooling tower on that system? Let's go, yeah. and we are going to check. Bring the camera. We are going to check. This is a chiller system. What is this? Condenser. The condenser unit. What is this? Chiller unit with the evaporator inside. What is that? Air handle. Air handle. And other one, and other one, and other one. No? Six air handles with this unit. Okay. I want to run this unit, this system, with the boat out of the water, where I connect the cooling tower. Where is the flow of raw water? Okay, look at this. Raw water, and here raw water, in the other side. Yeah? Where can I connect input and output? That's uh, almost quick. Now. Normally they have labels. If, mm -hmm. if you don't have labels, can I connect input here and output here, or input here and no, output no. here? No. Yeah. Yes, because no. it's a coil. It's a coil. Go around. Yeah, that's it, mother. Yeah? I connect here input, here output, or input output. No problem. To the cooling tower. And now the water is circulating on this coil. Can you say it's more efficient to have it the same flow or the opposite flow? Oh, opposite flow is better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's better. Yeah. Okay? That's the cooling tower. Okay, excuse me. How, how is the process? Uh, to start the air condition unit in my boat with the boat out of the water using cooling tower. Uh, what is the recommendation? Uh, start the unit in my boat and after that go and start the cooling tower? No. Or start the cooling tower and after that the unit? Yeah. Yeah, start the cooling tower, no problem, the cooling tower. 
What happens if the robot that is circulating here, 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 and goes out here affect my equipment? My equipment is off. No. No, no problem. No, no, no problem. The unit is off and the robot that is circulating. No problem. Okay. I enter in the boat. The raw water is circulating. I verify that the cooling tower is working and the water goes drops in the cooling tower. I check outside. Okay, the cooling tower is good. And now I am going to select temperature in the thermostat air handle number one. Okay, good. I hear the compressor start. Papa, no problem. Air handle number two, air handle number three. All of them are working. The compressor is running. Hot. This, this is hot. And the other one, the button. The button is cold, okay? The compressor is good and the temperature is a little warm. That's okay. It's run, it's running. That's okay? Simple. Excuse me. All the people in the different rooms turn off the air handles. And I hear that the compressor is stopped. I need to stop immediately the cooling tower? No. No. You can stop the cooling tower 20 minutes later. Yeah, no, the, the cooling tower, the flow of raw water is independent of the system. The, the flow of raw water not affect the system. That's okay? 